Hey, what is up guys, FZM here. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is in the vicinity, so it's time for a highly anticipated speed test between the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 versus the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. So let's get straight to business. Time to begin. I'm going to boot up both devices at the same time. Let's check it out. So as we can see the Huawei Mate 10 Pro coming out on top in round 1, ahead of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 by a few seconds. Nice. Ok next up let's check out the speed of the apps. Let's go. Right let's kick things off with the first app, the Play Store. Mate 10 Pro coming in first. Moving on let's go to YouTube, wow very fast for the Mate 10 Pro, a little bit of a delay for the Note 8. Let's see if it can catch up with the camera, about the same, I'll let you guys judge that one. Going into Instagram, the feed coming in a little bit faster for the Mate 10 Pro and we've got a double tap of course, awesome picture. Okay, back to the home screen, let's continue on and let's go into the first game, Temple Run 2. And the Mate 10 Pro just coming in, actually it looked like the Mate 10 Pro was coming in faster but they've come out exactly the same oh in fact the Note 8 was a bit quicker very interesting okay let's press play I'll come back to it for the RAM management test okay subway surfers Mate 10 Pro bringing up the loading bar but can it come in first let's take a look no the Note 8 does nice okay let's play I'll come back to it again when we're testing the RAM management. Right, the next game is Mario Run. Let's see who comes in faster. So, Mate 10 Pro coming in to the loading screen faster. And, yeah, Mate 10 Pro taking that one. Asphalt 8. Looks like the Note 8 is just edging. And, yeah coming in a couple of seconds faster than the Mate 10 Pro. Excellent. Right, moving on, let's go back and go into the next app which is Angry Birds 2, so we'll try another game. Okay, so we've got fast loading times on both devices but the Mate 10 Pro is just coming in a bit quicker compared to the Note 8, but can it load up the main game itself? Yes it can, ooh, just by a millisecond or so, not much in it at all. Okay, let me just get the game warmed up a little bit as I'll be testing it for the RAM management later on. Okay, next up, let's go into 8-Ball Pool. And we can see the Note 8 taking that one. Nice. Let's go to Twitch. And for Twitch it was the same. Nothing in it at all. Let's go to Mixer. And let's see which can load up the main feed. The Mate 10 Pro was coming in faster but the Note 8 clearly loading up all the elements on the screen faster than the Mate 10 Pro for Netflix. Once again the Note 8 coming in considerably quicker as you guys can see. Let's go to Google Play Movies but the Mate 10 Pro easily takes that one. Android Pay. Once again the Mate 10 Pro and speed test Let's find a server, the Mate 10 Pro, not much in it at all between them to be honest but as you guys can see it was a bit quicker for Boomerang, about the same, let's try the actual button itself, a little bit faster response times on the Note 8. Ok so the next round is the multitasking or the RAM management between both devices so let's just go into all of the apps that we opened, starting off with Play Movies, it's held on memory, now I expect the majority if not all the apps to be held because we've got 6 gigs of RAM on both devices, we can see with Mixer it's exactly where we were when we first launched it. Going back up into, let's try Android Pay, fantastic. And Angry Birds 2, the game, is continuing off from where I paused it. So let's see if that's the case with the remaining apps. Okay, next up let's go into Subway Surf and once again we can resume, nice. Right, let's go into the Google folder and let's try YouTube, which is held for the camera. No surprises if there's any refreshes here, it's the camera app of course. 
Let's go to the Play Store. Held on memory. Fantastic. Into Shazam. Great stuff. Let's see if we can get a flawless round for the management of the apps. For Temple Run 2, it's also held. So let's go back to the game. As you guys can see, no issues whatsoever. For Netflix, perfect. And for Twitch, possibly a little twitch of a refresh there for the Mate 10 Pro. I'll let you guys decide for speed test. Perfect. And Asphalt 8. Sometimes can be a bit tricky on some phones, but the Note 8 seems to be okay. Can the Mate 10 Pro also resume? Yes, it can. Absolutely. It was a bit slower though, but that's fine. Sometimes the phones can be a little bit glitchy in that respect when it comes to reloading. Let's just move off Asphalt 8. Okay, so that rounds up the multitasking on both the Note 8 and Mate 10 Pro. So, both fingerprint sensors are at the back of the devices. So, the fingerprint speed test in 3, 2, 1, go. And one more time. Nice. And I'll do a final reboot test. So let's see which is the fastest to do a full cycle. And 3, 2, 1, go. So let me hear your thoughts on this beastly matchup. Team Note 8 versus Team Mate 10 Pro. Samsung versus Huawei. Whose team are you on? Have you got any Samsung fanboys switching to Huawei? Or is it the other way around since the S9 is around the corner? Let me know in the comment section below and keep your suggestions coming. But as for the Note 8, I've got you covered. There's more content to come from it and expectedly there's tons more content to come from me. So stay tuned. Smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And as always guys, hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload and I'll catch you guys all on the next one.